Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Pi Omega, in Empire of Japan. So we're continuing uh, right from where we left off in the previous episode. Our units are doing great down here um, near the Dominion of India and in the north we're fighting the Soviets and in the south we are taking the territory of New Caledonia at this point. But I'm gonna, as usual, start from the north to see if everybody is doing what they're supposed to, or at least doing something, because we are manually driving them forward. Doing good. Okay, you guys all moved and stopped. So let's just send you forward because we need to get our could you attack the yes, but would no you would fail there there's just too many of them okay so just chill 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 stop okay instead you guys actually made it we're gonna go across here You guys are quite literally in a very dangerous situation. You could get encircled, so let's push you forward. You guys need to go with. Eliminated someone over here, not sure whom, but we did. Okay, this attack needs to continue. Okay, and encircled unit over here. Pervaya DMP Marine Division. Okay. Well, we could attack Sinkyang here, but I think we're gonna stave that off. Okay, now we get to the more interesting parts. Over here, our units are still defending. Okay, nice, you're actually retreating into that area I like that you guys need to come back here because that's the hot zone we're gonna move into this area and start closing it once we have these American divisions uh, need this planes are you kidding that's planes Oh my god, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, that, that definitely looked like mountains. But I guess I was mistaken. Okay, you're gonna support this area because they are otherwise screwed, which they still might because the pressure is quite heavy. Okay, and we formed a new uh, army, the 18th Southern Army, which is going to go to Port Moresby once they uh, move and they will drill there. We also have a bunch of submarines working their selves over here. We're constructing more submarines, we're constructing Ibukis, Hiroshima's, and a lot of submarines and the new Kagero class destroyers. So it's the first one coming out. 21st of September, so in about a month. Really nice. Looking forward to that. Now we got control of this area. We don't in here. Do we have any? We do have an airfield here, which we could uh, really easily use. Okay, there is literally no enemy presence here. So let me take you and you. That's 300, right? Yeah, okay, so we can take you. Send you over here and I'm gonna cover that. And you guys can do that as well. And take down the enemy because we need support. Wait, what the hell? Why did we have 
But you're not supposed to do naval strikes. <laughs> I mean, there is literally no chance you did, but I'm just saying. Okay, you guys can go and help there. Okay, advancing over here. Now let's check on the Marines. Uh, you are preparing more invasions. You are already going there and you've taken this entire area. So let me send you to the... to the Wine Island. Yep, that's ours, okay. No, not to the Wine Island, the... Is it gold? Uh, um, the Phoenix Island. Okay, we're gonna send you to the Phoenix Island and you're gonna prepare a naval invasion from here to the Wine Islands. We'll take all of them at once. Hey! We had another... We took them... We chased them and we sank the rest of their battle cruisers and battleships. So here comes HMS Valiant and HMS King George V and HMS Repulse all sank. Really nice and really good stuff. Field repair kit and spare parts. Nice. So that is something that we wanted and I also wanted the higher soaked armor or the advanced gearbox or an improved diesel engine. There's just so many things that we could get. Cost saving construction. Hmm. Uh, it would really do us well to get a Type 2. We need to upgrade our white tanks. So let's get the Type 2 chassis researched. And in the meantime, we can upgrade our tanks. So the Type 98 RO Tech T1 can now take the field repair kit, which is going to nicely improve its. It's reliability, so it's gonna be T2. Anything else? I don't think so. No ammunition. Uh, what about that? Oh, what ammo rack? Way too late for us to wait. Uh, so we're gonna be T2. It's an internal module, okay. I'll take it. Uh, what was that? That's a mistake. Or O R. Get the field of bucket. Good. And what else? Type 3 Chinu needs a field repair kit. O O R. That is a really good addition. I mean, it's giving you extra reliability for very little. And type 2 O E. Oh, yeah, actually, it's kind of interesting. You're Full on end ons. Okay, I like that. Okay, so take uh, Okay, you type ninety nine, type three, chin, type two, ho e, and type four, horro. Good, that's gonna help us a little bit with keeping our units in the bay. Okay, our units moved where they were supposed to, so that's amazing. Uh, we're holding this area. You guys really need to reinforce this. 
And I like that we are actually reinforcing. They stopped their attack over here. Let me just push that one silver division out. Okay, it's done. Now you defend. Good. Massive fights over here, but again, we're interested in the encirclement and closing of that area the most. And now uh, my marines. Oh! An American task force over here. You still... No, you don't. Okay, you can go. So, where's my... Battlefeet over here, coming right at them. Take them down, boys. Oh, and we were even reinforced by our spotting fleet, led by the Hiroshima class. Are you here? Yubari and Yodo. Uh, hold on. Japanese light fleet. Yep, Yodo, it's in the first line. You spotted them, you can kill. Okay, and they're retreating already. Okay, one of the American cruisers, USS Chicago, is down. Four of them. We sank all of them. USS Pensacola, well, very nice ship actually. USS Chicago, Northampton, and Boston. And there's. It sank two, but there's a number seven here. In there, for power of the fleet. So, yes, oh, North Carolina. Oh, it would be such an honor to sink you. I'm working on that really hard. 34%. Did we? We did. Asagumo and Minigumo. And Yamato sank two of these. Really nice. Yamato is doing God's work. Yeah, this era is ours. You better get used to it. Okay, now you guys are completely within our territory. The issue is though we don't really have that many troops to fight you. You're moving north, you guys are moving north. Okay, let's attack here. I would really like it if we could take this area that would free up a little bit of the pressure. Noise reduced, coating, and uh, an upgrade to our upgrade to our spying. Okay. Trying to figure out what we're gonna do next. Do we want the death charge mortal? I don't feel like I want to spend my navy experience here. But it still might be a good way to go. We got a lot of You know what? Let's get a better submarine engine. That's gonna reduce uh, their visibility. Further refinements to the submarine engine design allows for faster speed and longer submerged operation time. And we are just gonna upgrade our current submarine here by giving them. We can get a better anti air. And then advanced submarine stealth. Manway gear. Okay, so this is gonna be Kaidai 7B. Okay, we're gonna get you a better anti air and better coating. Okay, let's put you on for production. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven lines of submarines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other stuff will ensure that we have a little bit more ability to hide from our enemies. Okay, we're just producing you. You're spotting. That's amazing. Anyone here? Nope. You are still being worked on. So let's see how the deployment to New Caledonia is gonna go. I bet there's nobody there, but... Good, okay, we're winning. Let us throw you in this fight as well. I mean, we don't have to, but... It is a potentially... Good area of action. Okay, so that means you guys can now all move over here, and you guys can all move here, and we're gonna crush them. They should be, yeah, they're running out of supply. There is no way they can get reinforced here. So we just need to make sure that we close everything off. These hills are going to be very vulnerable to attacks. Okay, lost convoy. Special forces. Ah, uh, we actually stopped drilling new units. Why are you missing a medium? Oh wow, you're missing 80 medium tanks. Jesus. Yeah, we're missing just about as much medium tanks as the division is supposed to have. Okay, and you sub. Uh, things will have to be a priority for us in the future. But we're currently more interested in actually upgrading the current production rather than producing more. Or so it would seem. Okay, so what's happening in Europe? Uh, Germans are attacking. They are. They finally made it all the way to Stavropol and Kubyshev. Kazan is also being encircled. They moved way past Arkhangelsk. Yeah, Soviets are done. They're done for. We just need a little bit, a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. And we'll be done. Okay, you guys can advance. I don't think there's actually anything here that we could get the benefits from, but we can actually you go and take the rail. Nizhnevartovsk taken. You guys. Novi Urengoy, okay, so that can help us by adding one victory point. Okay, you are just standing around, but not much there. I really like it if we could push a little more on them. Okay, we just need to decimate them and then finish up the encirclement. So how did the invasion of this area went? Extremely well. There's nobody here. That is precisely what we wanted to see. How did you guys? You haven't arrived in place yet. And there's eight of you. Okay, I think we can add Five more divisions. How much do you... You don't have the commando battalions. You have just the jungle warfare 
which costs one, right? Yeah, it's gonna be one. So that ought to be okay. Okay, we're holding this area firmly in our hands. Okay, let's add you to that attack. You guys are defending. You're supposed to move. Oh, nice. We got two more mountainers. So can you get in here? You can, and we got two more Rikusentai, which we can actually send, where are we, over here, and have them, actually no, you need to join uh, the Marine Force, don't you? Yep. But okay, now we have eight Marine Divisions, that is really nice. Okay, we're advancing. Should we? It's very easy to get them now. I'm actually gonna throw you in so that we can extend the battle line here. Kind of grasping at straws here. And if you guys can join this fight, the German Rock and Sinkyang have joined, have signed White Peace. What the hell? And we got another tank division. Amazing. So we're gonna join the 16th tank army. And you are also not in an area where you can get. What you need, Sinkyang joined Soviet Union. Okay. Okay, let us just keep marching, never stop. Never wonder. You can take this area. You guys can go here. Yep, we'll just continue. Continue pressuring. You just need a uh, sizable bad one here as possible and send all of you in there. Okay, so this area is being captured and we're also crossing in here. So the territory for them to maneuver in is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, you are going to join the central attack. I'm gonna continue and finish it. Four volunteers, we get 50 men. Oh, lovely. Okay, looking pretty good. There's a radar here as well. Definite progress. After we eliminate that pocket, we're gonna reform because we will need to have our armies in the 9th, 8th, and the 18th armies ready to invade Australia. That's gonna be a big undertaking. So we'll need to plan for that carefully and have enough forces in place 
to facilitate that. Because by God, if we screw that one up, it will be an absolute disaster. Soviet Union has capitulated, giving us 50% of their stockpile. I don't even think I should be reading that. <laughs> the fall of Baku, that's what made it happen. Earlier today, German forces successfully occupied the city of Baku, a vital strategic objective in their war against the Soviet Union. Located on the shores of the Caspian Sea, the city is a key to the Caucasus, and its many oil fields are sure to benefit the German war effort. Its capture puts Germany in a position to expand the war into the Middle East and possibly even India. Okay, so Soviet Union is done. Now, what can we do with them? Is there any liberation possible? Lithuania, Estonia, Republic of China. Okay, so we're gonna give that to Republic of China. Uh, but we don't really have... No, we do. Okay, what's our 2000? And we will ask for this, 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 and this. Still can ask for more. Okay, so some of the demands, they're ours. Mongolians, People's Republic. Okay, this one to China. No, Dornogobi. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there, but we we'll get Ukrainian puppet. I mean, I'm really not that interested okay we're gonna take their navy and we're gonna continue goblin up territory okay so we took some states liberated the navy Okay, let us just take a little bit more and we'll be done. Actually, I would like access to the sea here. Um, okay, that's fine. They can take it. I, I think we're actually... Okay, let's pass. Yeah, I don't want any more territory, but Germany, take it. Well, okay, let's go in from an exit. And let the game calculate whatever they want. Russian Federation has capitulated. We've been embargoed by German Reich. <laughs> Okay, Germany took 122 states, we took 21, Finland took a little bit, Mongolians, People's Republic was annexed, Reichsprotector and Moscovian was puppeted, Reichsprotector and Ukrainian was puppeted, Liberal Party KD has been put in power in Russian Federation. Is there any Russian Federation left? Reichsprotector and Moscovian is over there, okay. Okay, so this is all that's left of Russian Federation. They got Leningrad. Well, good for them. At least they got something. And what about this one? Republic of China. Oh, okay. For some reason that one is not a puppet. I think oh, I should have probably said puppet and not... Uh, but it doesn't matter. So who are we at war with now, honestly? Just you guys. Sinkiang and Dominion of India. Well, okay, I think this is a great place to end it. 
Um, we're going to use our forces to break through Xinjiang all the way to Kashmir. In here, we're going to reform our forces as well to free up the southern armies, which are going to be moved to Papua, and from there we are going to invade Australia. And after we invade Australia, and we take Hawaii, and we take... I mean, we control most of East Bengal now, but once we take West Bengal, I'm going to consider this Let's Play over. I mean, these are most of the planes, so it's just about putting more pressure there. And we have exile divisions. Okay, that's fine. Let me just do one last thing and check what kind of stuff we're getting from here. Coal and a little bit of tungsten, a little bit of alloys, some food, a little bit of coal, a little bit of coal. No, it's gonna be good. And did, did they really? Come on, guys. I mean, we generated... And we generated a lot of tension, but Germany generated more. And aren't we allies? We are, so shouldn't we? Nah. Okay, and this is the state of the war. That's going to be the closing words. We have roughly 13 million fielded manpower. They got about 7. So we outnumber them nearly 2 to 1. And yeah, the United States are still the leader when it comes to factories. But Germany might actually have more right now. 900. 21 to 2,500. Yeah, Germany has a bigger industrial base now than the United States. And we have a bigger industrial base than United Kingdom. And Manchukuo and Reform Government of China have a higher base than Dominion of Canada. I bet Italy has more than... Yeah, 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 yeah we got them. So this is now going to be mostly just about cleaning up, to be quite honest. We just need to finish certain little last steps and this let's play will be done. I'm happy. I hope, I hope you are too. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one.